It's July 2018 and we're here in Panama City Beach, Florida, getting ready to place an artificial reef in 92 feet of water offshore of the beach. center boats, the reef runner, and placed in 92 feet of water on a permitted site to be used as an artificial reef for both fishermen and divers over the years. I'm Danny Cazard. 40 years ago this year, I was lucky enough to be involved in an artificial reef project when the Grey Ghost went down in the summer of 78. Uh, this particular site is going to be added to the reef site offshore of Panama City where the Army tanks are. And in cooperation with the local dive shops, uh, particularly Panama City Dive Center and Panama City Diving, uh, Captain uh, Choppy and Captain Pat from over at the other dive center, Pat's guys spotted the boat and Choppy's crew pulled it out with one of their dive boats. Panama City Dive Center in Panama City Beach, Florida is one of the newest NAWI affiliates located in the Panhandle of Florida. In cooperation with a local artificial reef group, they use their 60-foot boat, the Reef Runner, to tow offshore a 65-foot derelict Navy vessel to be placed on the artificial reef program. The cool thing about this site is it's anchored between two Army tanks that were placed by Florida Wildlife Commission back in the 90s. That particular project brought 13 Army tanks into the Panama City area and were used for artificial reefs for years and years and years. They were spread out over the bottom, sometimes as much as 200 to 300 feet apart. And this particular dive site now will be anchored with a 65-foot aluminum hull vessel sitting on the bottom between two of the tanks. One of the tanks is sitting upright, the other one is on its side. It'll be a perfect dive site for advanced divers working on their wreck diving certification, navigation certification, or anything they want to do in conjunction with their local Naui dive shop. 